Welcome back to another Mr. Lee Teaches YouTube tutorial, but today I'm bringing you something super special. We just got access to the lockdown browser in Google Quizzes through Google Classroom. So I'm going to walk you through how that works, kind of explain it to you. It should be quick, but it's kind of really an exciting new feature. So here we have my test Google Classroom um, pulled up, and so I'm working as the teacher on this end. I'll show you the students in, in a second. So if I go into Classwork and I create a new assignment, I can create a quiz assignment. So I'm going to click on that one. And what it does is it automatically says, okay, you're going to use a Google Form. Um, everything else is the same. So I'm going to title this Test Quiz, and I'll give it some instructions, set the points, due date, give it a topic and then right here where the big blue beta is I'm gonna check that box and that means it's gonna lock down on Chromebooks only I have tested this on a PC it gives me a screen that says this only works on managed Chromebooks now remember you can't do anything on a PC or a MacBook or anything other than a managed Chromebook if lock mode is turned on so as you can see, this assignment has lock mode turned on, and if I click on the quiz, it's going to tell me that. Now, if I go back out and I turned it off of lock mode and save, and I go back into edit, I can click on the quiz, and I can go in, and I'm able to edit it now. So I can just click on the little pencil in the top right corner, go in, I can make my edits. And so you can manage the lock mode through Classroom, or you can create the quiz first and then add it as an assignment by, by turning on lock mode in Classroom, uh, whichever way you want. But just remember, if lock mode is turned on, you will not be able to edit it or do anything with it on a PC, only on a managed Chromebook. So once I'm done with all that, I will assign it. And once it's assigned, just like anything else, it will pop in where it's supposed to. So I gave it a pop quiz. Um, topic so it's under my pop quizzes test quiz that's what I just created so I'll click on that so we can see that our blank quiz is here but we obviously don't want to give a student a blank quiz so we're gonna go over to our Google forms and that's just forms.google.com or you can click your waffle and go to and go to forms so once we're here we see blank quiz um, it always pulls up your recent so it'll be the first one you click on that and you can come in now and we can change the name of this quiz to pop test quiz test that way we know what it is in our sample and I'll change the name to pop quiz test count uh, and we can change our questions just like any other Google form and I'm gonna add my distractors and I'll require now while we're in the forms I'll go ahead and show you if you click on your settings and the gear it tells you that there are some settings that are turned off because it's in locked mode. It means it's restricting it to just the domain. So only students in the domain signed in can access this. Uh, it also limits it to one response per person um, because it's a quiz. We assume that you only want to give it once. And then under quizzes, if we click on that tab, it's automatically made it a quiz and it's turned on the lock mode screen. So if you wanted to turn this quiz off as lock mode, you could just uncheck that. It takes it out of lock mode. Now any device, you can change all the settings that you want. So now you can see I can go back to my general settings. I can change my limit to one response, that sort of thing. So I'm going to go back over quizzes though and I'm going to turn it back on. And I'm just going to save that. And I've got my questions the way I want them. And so now I'm done with this. So I'm going to save my assignment. And so now it's posted. And so if I pull it up on a student view, so now here I am on the student side. So I'm looking at this from a, a sample student that I have. So I click on my classwork. So I go down to my pop quizzes and test quiz is the name of the, the one we just had. So I'm going to click on that. And so it gives me the assignment just like it would in any other assignment in Google Classroom. So I'll click on the quiz. And see, I'm on my PC right now. So it pops up that I can't access this quiz because it's in lock mode. Only respondents using managed Chromebooks can open this quiz. So if you have iPads in your classroom, if you have a computer lab of PCs or MacBooks or iMacs in lock mode, you're not going to be able to use this lockdown uh, Google quiz through classroom. 
so you'll have to turn that off. I'm sorry, I didn't make the rules. Uh, but if you do have Chromebooks, then your students will be able to go through and take the quiz. And I'm going to pop up some images on the screen right now, and you'll be able to see what that looks like. But once the students take the quiz, just like normal, they'll submit it just like normal, and then it pops up that they can view the score just like you would. I mean, it's, it acts just like it, except there is no way, and I wish I could video this easier so I could show you, but I tried all the tricks I know to get out of the lock mode kiosk looking screen, and I could not open anything, I could not close anything, and it even stopped me from taking screenshots. So there it is, in a nutshell, lock mode on Google Forms quizzes, and an easy way to assign it through Google Classroom. Um, it is in beta, so remember that. If you have any concerns or anything, click the question mark in the corner of the screen and give Google some feedback. And until next time, I hope you found this useful. Um, like if you like these videos and go ahead and subscribe to the channel.